And well guys, today I just want to make a very short video talking about AMD Fluid Motion Frames 3. And yeah, I had to choose the fingers correctly because I was just doing this, then I had to do this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but yeah, AFMF3, which is kind of the, um, which is, which kind of works the same way as NVIDIA Smooth Motion and the same way as well as lossless scaling. So we have frame generation inside the game with FSR frame generation, uh, the LSS frame generation, XSS frame generation, and now somebody's calling me. And then we have outside of the game frame generation techniques with things like lossless scaling again, smooth motion, and now AFMF. And those techniques don't really care about uh, the game itself. If the technology of frame generation is implemented on the game or not, they don't care because they work outside of the game. So they will generate frames based on what is passing through your monitor. If you're playing a game, if you're playing a video, whatever you want to do, these technologies will work. So if you want to watch a video, a YouTube video uh, at 240 FPS or Hertz instead of 60 FPS or Hertz, you can do it with lossless scaling, for example. The same goes for, I don't really know if smooth motion or AFMF work in this case scenario, but lossless scaling does. So that's basically what it is, frame generation outside of game implementation. And inside of this channel implementation, we have today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. And we recently had some news about fluid motion frames spotted in the latest drivers that could launch with FSR Redstone. And this is basically, again, just, just well, it's kind of news, it's not rumors because the, the thing was in fact there. It was inside the drivers, for example, it was by the user ECFFG2010 saying, guess that I can now leave this here officially too. AFMF3 coming with a 25.20 branch. And then you can see an image from Guru3D saying um, that inside the drivers we have profile area frame gen, usage frame gen v3 profile notes, AFMF3 supported profile, meaning that AFMF3 is in fact coming. And I did talk about AFMF3 with AMD several months ago, more than half a year ago, I believe. Uh, and that's one of the things that I told them when they, when we were talking, when we were start talking about FSR4, I asked them, well, why not make AFMF3 with machine learning as well? If we're going for everything machine learning like FSR4, if we're going with machine learning for frame generation, now with FSR Redstone, with all those things, why not use machine learning as well with AFMF3? or even, let's say, Raven image sharpening and many other things. And I guess they, they did. I don't really know if they were thinking about that before, if my tip actually makes something go into motion, but most likely they were already working on it uh, or already thought about it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted you to know that I that I gave that, that opinion or that idea. As for the video cards article, we have it saying a new version of AMD's Fluid Motion Frames technology has been spotted in the latest Radeon drivers. According to a report from Guru 3D forums, the user ECFFG2010 references to AFMF3 or FrameGen V3 have appeared, suggesting AMD is preparing to update its driver level frame generation feature. Fluid Motion Frames was first introduced in 2023 as AFMF1, enabling frame generation outside in game integration. That's what I just said. This is a driver level upscaling, which is wrong. This is frame generation. This is driver level frame generation, enabling often needed technology for games that would otherwise never see such a feature enabled. This allowed many titles without native FSR or frame gen support to benefit from higher frame rates and smoother gameplay. Well, we could argue on that higher frame rates, although we do have higher frame rates, but it doesn't really feel like higher frame rates, but at the same time it does because we do have better smoothness, but the latency doesn't increase as greatly as it did without it. But yeah, I would call frame generation a smoothing technique instead of a FPS boost technique. Such technology is especially welcomed among gamers who like to run emulators. AMD later released the FMF2, which added AI-based optimizations and improved latency, which is real, 
followed by AFMF 2.1, which enhanced temporal tracking and reduced ghosting. Yes, I did test AFMF 2 and AFMF 2.1, as you can see in these videos, passing right now on the screen, and the FMF 2.1 did improve the, um, the temporal tracking and temporal stability, definitely, but still, uh, yeah, still wasn't on par with lossless scaling frame generation, but in terms of latency, it also had way lower latency, so it's kind of a trade-off, I guess. Now, AFMF 3 looks to continue this yearly cycle of updates. Forum users noted that it could be bought alongside the 25.20 driver branch expected to align with the rollout of AMD's upcoming FSR Redstone. That update, part of the broader FSR 4 release, is set to include machine learning optimizations, neural radiance caching and improvements for ray tracing titles, and so on, so on, so on. The appearance of AFMF 3 indicates AMD may be upgrading its frame generation model to better compete with any Nvidia smooth motion tech. With FSR Redstone rumored to arrive soon, officially this year of course, more information of AFMF3 should follow in the coming months and so on so on so on. So yeah, I believe that's it since we're talking about AFMF and since it is already mentioned in the drivers, I believe that AFMF3 is coming very very soon. I don't know if it will come alongside FSR Redstone or not, but it will be here definitely and I'm pretty I'm pretty excited that AMD actually brings the FMF3. I want to see how it works compared to Smooth Motion because recently I tested Smooth Motion. I would say that Smooth Motion was good in some scenarios or even better than lossless scaling, but Talking about the overall picture, lossless scaling was still better. But again, we now have, or we're going to have a AFMF3, and if we have another competitor updating their game as well, or upgrading their game, things will be interesting, because that way I will be able to compare lossless scaling versus smooth motion uh, versus AFMF3, and that will be nice. And of course, I'll be testing these things on this channel. That's all for this video, guys. Just me telling you that AFMF3 is definitely coming, so... Keep an eye on this channel because as soon as it comes, I will be reviewing it, be sure of it. And thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video, guys. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> you, Nino.